வணக்கம் ஐ வெல்கம் யூ ஆல் ஃபார் டுடேஸ் செஷன் ஆஃப் மேக்ஸ் கிளாஸ் திஸ் இஸ் அ ஃபவுண்டேஷன் ப்ரோக்ராம் இன் மேத்தமெட்டிக்ஸ் அண்ட் திஸ் கோர்ஸ் இஸ் ப்ரெசென்டட் ஃபார் யூ பை வித்யாலக்ஷ்மி சீனியர் செகண்டரி ஸ்கூல் இன் வெல்லூர் டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு ஸ்டடி த டாபிக் கால்ட் அஸ் ரேஷ்னல் நம்பர்ஸ் அண்ட் திஸ் கோர்ஸ் இஸ் திஸ் கோர்ஸ் இஸ் அப்ளிகபிள் ஃபார் த ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ஹூ ஆர் இன் கிரேட் செவன் அண்ட் அபோ ஓகே இன் திஸ் வீடியோ செஷன் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சால்வ் five problems in the topic of rational numbers and obviously this is going to be a easy session for you children okay now let us start our uh, class and uh, let us solve the problems this is the first question that you are seeing over the board uh, what the first question is which number should be subtracted from 5 by 7 to get 3 by 4 3 by 14 this is the question for this question you may your approach may be in two ways the first way is by thinking and the second way is by algebraic method first way what is that thinking method i can tell you um here there are two numbers given okay uh, two numbers are given one is uh, 5 by 7 and another one is uh, 3 by 14 3 by 14 uh, some which number should be subtracted from this from this 5 by 7 so from this 5 by 7 we have to subtract one number we don't know that what number is that uh, so that the answer must be 3 by 14 okay uh, first of all when i look at these two numbers my first flash is that they are having uh, different denominators okay as because of that they are having dif- different denominators it is not possible to operate them so what i want to uh, what i'm trying to do is i want to convert this 5 by 7 into equivalent fraction by having the same denominator 14 here so for to have 14 in the denominator what i should uh, do i should have to multiply by 2 in the numerator and also 2 in the denominator along with this 5 by 7 then this 7 will become 14 okay see this 5 by 7 i am taking and multiplying by 2 in the numerator and one more 2 in the denominator so that this becomes what so 10 by 14 it becomes now you can observe that now you can observe that this both are having the same denominator now it is it will be easy for to calculate okay so from this something we have to subtract so as to get 3 by 14 so yes exactly 7 by 14 so 7 by 14 we have to subtract okay another one more way i i said no so it is algebraic method i told you so uh, so first of all we are in algebraic method we have to frame a equation 5 by 7 i am taking we have to subtract some number that number b x okay and it gives 3 by 14 so i am forming an equation like this framing an equation like this after that from this what i need i need to find i need to find the value of x so this minus x goes to right side i take to right side as plus x then 5 by 7 this 3 by 14 comes as minus 3 by 14 okay then uh, i want to simplify this to for to simplify this two fractions what i have to do i have to make the denominator same for to make the denominator same i want to make this 5 by 7 to be an equivalent fraction i want to convert it into an equivalent fraction so 5 by 7 i am going to multiply by 2 in the numerator and denominator so that this is going to become 14 minus 3 by 14 equal to x so x is equal to what i am getting 10 by 14 minus 3 by 14 so 10 minus 3 is 7 7 by 14 equal to x this 7 by 14 in turn we may simplify further more as like 7 one time and here two times so x is equal to what i am getting x is equal to 1 by 2 i am getting okay so by the same way here also we can make cancellation the same x is equal to 1 by 2 that is the value i am going to get is 1 by 2 in both the cases so we may approach anyway any, anyway we can uh, go by anyway and the printed answer is here and here the solution is printed in the form of algebraic method okay then uh, we shall move to the i think you understand and we shall move to the next question the second question we are having here number of whole numbers between 2 and 26 is number of whole numbers between 2 and 
so it's a method or, or it is a trick for to find the number of whole numbers or the number of integers between the two given numbers okay it is a it is very easy process and it is given by s minus 1 l minus s minus 1 what is this l minus s minus 1 l is the largest value and s is the smallest value and this minus 1 why we are adding means there are two kinds of formula one is that the number of whole numbers between the given numbers and another one is that the number of whole numbers from for example i tell you we are having uh, five numbers 1 2 3 4 5 so how many numbers are there between 1 and 5 if i'm asking between 1 and 5 you can tell that uh, three numbers how many numbers are there from 1 and uh, 5 1 2 3 4 5 so from 1 to 5 from 1 to 5 we are having 5 numbers between if you have the word between between 1 to 5 we are having only 3 numbers okay so the formula differs in these two cases the trick differs in these two cases if it is asked to find the number of integers or the number of whole numbers between 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 the two numbers then the formula is l minus s minus 1 if it is asked to find the number of whole numbers from from the given two numbers means then the formula will be the same l minus s but it would have plus 1 l minus s plus 1 but we are not going to use this formula now we are going to use this formula as because of that the question itself clearly tells us that the number of whole numbers between so between 2 and 26 so the largest number is 26 and the smallest one is 2 so 26 minus 2 minus 1 so 26 minus 2 24 and uh, minus 1 is 23 yes the correct option is actually option d 23 yes option d is yes, the same uh, solution also shows the shows the same answer okay now we shall move to the next question the multiplicative inverse of 3 by 9 plus 4 by 3 plus 5 by 6 is asked 3 by 9 right i want to take the pin okay the given numbers are 3 by 9 plus 4 by 3 plus 5 by 6. First of all, we have to simplify this and then only we can able to find the multiplicative inverse. Okay. Uh, I want to simplify this. For to simplify, what I have to do? I have to make the denominators to be same. So, first I take this 3 by 9, 4 by 3 and this 5 by 6 and I am finding the LCM for this 9, 3 and 6. Okay. So, this 9, 3 and 6, I am taking the 3 is the common factor for all this 3, 3 3's are 9, 3 1's are 3 2's are and uh, I want to find the LCM and the LCM I get is 3 into 3 into 1 into 2. So, what I am getting 18, 18 is the LCM. Now, I want to convert all the fractions here for to have the same denominator 18. So, I want to think about the number that which I have to multiply here for to make the denominator 18. So, I want to multiply here by 2 because 9 2's are 18 and here by 6 3 6 are 18 and here I need to multiply by 3 so it will become uh, 18 in the denominator then in the next step you can see that uh, it will become 6 by 18 uh, 24 by 18 and uh, 15 by 18 then what I am having here I need to add because the denominators are same so, 24 plus 6 is 30, 30 plus 15, 45, 45 divided by 18 we are having. So, we have to make cancellation over here. So, by cancellation what we are having, we can cancel uh, because 9 is the common factor be between these two. So, 9, 5 times, 9 5 is 45, 9, 2 times, 9, 2 are 18. So, what we are getting, 5 by 2 is the um, simplified answer for this um, for this expression okay but it is not asked to simplify this one what is asked in the question actually it is clearly asked to find the 
inverse what inverse multiplicative inverse so multiplicative inverse if you want to find the multiplicative inverse then you have to tell the reciprocal because reciprocal and the multiplicative inverse are the same meaning okay or having the same meaning so 5 by 2 means what is the multiplicative inverse the multiplicative inverse is 5 by 2 then 2 by 5 2 by 5 is the answer for this this one okay let us check our answer with the solution available yes 2 by 5 is the answer the same procedure is actually followed here you can see over the screen yes we shall move to the next question the next question is actually a very simple question that you might have studied in lawyer standard itself because this is in this we are going to just multiply this given uh, rational numbers okay see 4 by 9 into 9 by 15 into 15 by 12 okay it's going to be a very easy one 15 15 and cancelled 9 9 will go off by the same way this 4 one time and uh, here three time you will be having so what is the remaining we are having just 1 by 3 so 1 by 3 is the answer and uh, here is the option 1 by 3 option d is the correct answer for this question and uh, let us see with the solution available here okay 1 by 3 is the correct option and it's option d is exactly okay we just now move on to the fifth question Uh, in this fifth question, uh, which of the following represents associative property? Associative property. Associative property. What does it tells? It tells that two expressions will be equal. Two expressions will be equal irrespective of the of the method of grouping. Okay. So uh, here there are four options given. Uh, in this four options, uh, definitely uh, option D is not going to be the answer because in the left side alone we are having the part of grouping but in right hand side it is just a sum so definitely this is not going to be the answer and also option c i just uh, neglected it because of that it is actually the commutative property you can see the 20 plus 15 and here 15 plus 20 the order is reversed so it is the property called as what a commutative property and then when you come to option b option b you are having uh, addition in the left side and uh, actually here the multiplication we are having but you know there is no any uh, meaning in writing the expression like this so this is also need to be avoided and we are having only one more option that is the option a uh, 20 plus 15 plus 9 here 15 plus 9 is associated 15 plus 9 is associated and here 20 plus 15 is associated whereas 9 has left outside okay so exactly this is the correct answer because it it deals with the associative property of addition associative property of addition of three numbers let us check with our answer available yeah the solution also tells us that it is the associative property of addition and it is option a is the correct one exactly okay very uh, simple and uh, very easy questions that we have studied today and uh, with this i'm going to end up today's class uh, the class notes is available in the link given in the description given below and also some assignment work also given for you in the link given in the description um, please um, i think uh, today's class is much useful for you please like the class if you like it and uh, share it uh, to other students it may be useful for others also and uh, comment if you are having any um, doubts or any clarification about the class god bless you all thank you all